Hello guys and girls. Today I'll show you how we can convert uh, a MIDI backing track to a very realistic uh, backing track which uses VST instruments for playback. So first let's open JazzLab and uh, listen to our 12 bar blues uh, backing track which uses uh, the virtual MIDI synth as its output. Okay, as you can see, we have uh, this MIDI quality of instruments. Uh, so what we will try to achieve today is uh, direct the output from uh, JazzLab uh, towards uh, uh, Reaper, a DAW software. There we will have VST instruments that will play back the, the sound and we'll get a realistic uh, backing track. Uh, in order to uh, redirect uh, MIDI from JazzLab, we will use uh, a loopback MIDI port. Um, I'm using a loop uh, MIDI uh, freeware software to create one. So it's created now and we have to redirect uh, JazzLab's output, click refresh here, and select the loop MIDI port. Uh, here I want to disable all MIDI parameters because I just want to send the music notes uh, not any MIDI parameters to Reaper. Now I will uh, put this, uh, I'm start playing this uh, uh, backing track and I'm gonna loop it so it never stops playing and now we can hear no output because it's not connected to anything. So let's open Reaper. And we're gonna start with the drums. Uh, let's insert a drum VST. I'm using a free drum VST called Virtuosity Drums Okay, as you can see everything went crazy there <laughs> What is happening uh, is that uh, the instrument is receiving MIDI from all channels and we don't want that. Uh, we want to receive uh, MIDI from channel 10, which is the channel where the drum notes are being transmitted from JazzLab. So let's select uh, the loop MIDI port. Uh, and select channel 10. Let's see now. Okay, now we can hear uh, a proper sound coming out of the instrument. The next thing we'll do is uh, add a bass sound.
I'll use uh, I'll use contact for this. I'll use the upright base, which comes uh, with the complete uh, library. And uh, as you can see here, the base is on channel uh, MIDI channel 11. So uh, what I'll do now is uh, take the uh, loop MIDI port input from channel 11. And because uh, the contact instrument uh, is expecting it to come to channel 1. I'll map the input to channel 1. And now we can hear... It's something of a bass. It's not there yet. And the reason is that uh, as you can see here down below in the keyboard, uh, some notes are outside of the range of the actual instrument. An easy way to solve this is uh, transpose the incoming notes uh, using uh, input effects here. I'll add uh, a JS effect which are specific to Reaper it's called mm, MIDI transpose I'll, I'll transpose one octave above which is 12 semitones and that way let me unmute the track. Every note, every note is within uh, the instrument uh, range. So let's listen to the bass with the drums. Okay, as you can see, it's getting uh, way better. Uh, one more thing I want to add is the is the guitar, uh, which is on uh, MIDI channel thirteen. So let's do that. I'll use contact again. I'll use jazz guitar. I'm going to adjust the input to come from the loop MIDI port channel 13, map it again to channel 1 for contact to be able to receive it properly. And I'm going to unmute the master track. Let me mute the drums and the bass first. Sorry. Let's listen. Okay. Now let's.
let's hear everything in context. And if you want to record this backing track, it's very simple. You can hit record. Uh, the MIDI notes are being recorded. And when you are done, save the MIDI tracks. You can even close uh, JazzLab for this. And as you can see, if I play back the MIDI tracks from here, I get uh, the same result, which I can edit and I can render to an audio file. Great. So that's it, guys and girls. Thank you very much for your attention. And uh, I hope that you create many awesome backing tracks using this method.